As people clean up after last week's tornadoes, everybody's wondering how to protect themselves if there's another storm. In this week's Your Three Cents, David Carnes tells us the best places to find shelter from the bad weather. Let me start by saying there is nothing wrong with owning a manufactured home, but you have to know the risks, particularly with weather, and that involves having a solid plan if severe weather is in the forecast. Now, pre-1976, mobile homes had no standards for safety. Housing and Urban Development in 1976 put forth guidelines that made them safer. The U.S. was divided into zones which require manufactured homes to be able to withstand particular wind loads. Most of the country, including our area, is in Zone 1, which requires them to withstand 70 mile per hour winds. For most weather events, that's fine, but the tornado that ripped through Murray County was an EF2 with 135 mile per hour winds. Mallory said, my six-year-old son and I live with my grandmother who has Alzheimer's disease. We barely missed the tornado that hit Ultawa. Where could we go? How can I get out in time? I don't want to be in this trailer when the next severe storm hits. Mallory, the short answer is plan for a safer alternative today. Now, before the next storms arrive. If the forecast is calling for a chance of even isolated tornadoes for your area, have a place set up with a friend, a business, church, any place you can come up with that is a sturdy building that would be a safer alternative. If you live in a mobile home park, ask the manager what the plan is. Call your county emergency manager and ask about any government shelters that may be open. The point is don't stay in a manufactured home. Even if you are inside while the tornado is approaching, it's recommended that you leave the manufactured home and lay down on your stomach in a ditch or as low as you can get with your hands over your head to protect you from debris. That's how unsafe it is to be in one during a tornado. Regarding shelters, a number of you sounded off on the need for more designated shelters. Jonah said, I think more safe shelters need to be built. In subdivisions, mobile home parks, apartment complexes, all should have community storm shelters. We need tax breaks for having safe home shelters. I agree. Walt asked, is it safer to be in a car? When looking at pics of tornado damage, the cars seem better off than mobile homes. Keep the car turned on where the airbags could deploy? Well, I, I hear you, and I've seen those pictures too, but no, a car is not safe at all. The National Weather Service actually cites the worst places to be in a tornado are mobile or manufactured homes, vehicles underneath an overpass, large open rooms like gymnasiums. The best options are tornado storm shelters or FEMA safe rooms. The next best option is a basement or the lowest interior room of a well-constructed building. And that's my three cents. If you have a rant or something positive you want to rave about, I want to know. Give me a call at 423-643-9722 and give me your three cents.